Hey, so it's super bright, so I'm kind of squinting, but I uh, wanted to show you an update on we're getting our chain link fence replaced for the backyard so that the dogs can um, roam freely and also it adds a privacy fence. So here's the normal um, fence. So here's what the fence normally looked like, right? Going up to here. And then our contractor has added so far a little bit of the thing. It's not fully done. That gives you a sense of what it looks like. The We were fine with him cutting off the sidewalk a little bit because we'll probably redo this area at some point and also I wanted a bigger door and I wanted it to be in the middle um, and there will be a door here a gate here obviously um, but if we hadn't done it in the middle this thing the door here would have probably cut up against the porch and the neat thing about this fence is see where this pole is this is where the chain link fence used to be it used to go up against this raised porch and that meant when we brought the dogs outside, they had to be on a leash before we took them into the backyard. So now we'll be able to let them out the door inside of the yard. So it should be a huge bonus. Um, all right. And then he has to finish this. He's not going to cut into the ground. He's done a concrete block instead um, because it's hard to get down into the... Um, into the cut the roots of this massive sweet gum tree. So, uh, also I should mention, I probably ought to stain them, but uh, our neighbors gave us a couple of logs they cut from their other trees, so we now have some seats, although I probably ought to sand them down and stain them. And then the fence is gonna continue around the tree here, uh, on the other side of the tree, down and around. You can kind of see how he's already started to do some um, step-down fencing, so because we our hill goes slightly down, it'll go down a few inches as we go over um, and then he also removed our contractor removed the we had a chain link fence on our side of this wooden fence which is the neighbors and I thought it just looked redundant you can kind of see the shading between the top and bottom where the chain link was but so we had him remove that and the other benefit to this is that okay so here's some remaining pieces so the other benefit to that this fence is that we're gonna have a fence with a, with a gate on the other side of the house, which we didn't have before. And so it's going to be another six foot privacy fence here. And our contractor also, because he needed the space here, there were some borders for like a raised bed fence here, but they, it was all wood and it was falling apart. It was full of bugs. So he pulled that out for us. He left that there because I thought we still need it for, to prevent soil erosion. Um, but that was... And then while I'm here, so I have not raked up, I'll add, I have not raked up the leaves this year. I have raked most from the yard into this pathway to add some nice cushion and also um, nutrients. And then I've raked, I had a tarp over, I need to put it back over it, but I've raked many of the um, leaves into a pile in the backyard, as you can see right there. So that I can use it for compost next year for our garden. Um, and I'm hoping I can use it as brown material. And then I wanted to show you <laughs> this log here. I don't know if you can see these little plugs and holes. That is where shiitake mushrooms, or I think or oyster mushrooms, will grow out of in the spring. I bought the log for 10 bucks at a farmer's market. They said to watch it because bugs will get into it. But... Um, it could potentially give us some mushrooms if everything goes right, so I'm excited about that. So there we are. Um, got you an update on the backyard and our fence, which hopefully next time I'm filming this, there will be a tall fence behind me. So looking forward to it. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and or subscribe and check back in soon. I'm gonna do an update right after this on the vegetable seeds that have arrived. I, I know there's a few surprises in there because they're sending three free packs, so I'm excited to find out what they have sent me um, and if it's something I'll use. See you soon.